once again thought I'd share this tutorial with you pretty nice morning a lady come in wanted me to make a ring from a picture uh, now it's a summer mount this ring without that means without the center stone the diamonds but no center stone I retail for about seventy five hundred dollars has uh, over a carat and a half of rounds and baguette diamonds this is just a model so in reality the diamond setter will do all the bright cutting here and uh, hide that. We'll do all the bright cutting for the bead set and the diamonds here and then the bag of diamonds in here and there'll be bead set diamonds in here. Just going to show you how to make the model ready for casting. Watertight ready for casting or printing. So let's get started from there. Now before I start, I want to show you that I went to the internet and I got the image of the standard millimeter sizes of the rings, finger sizes. So if you don't have, this is going to be done in Rhino, we're not going to be using a uh, fancy uh, uh, jewelry design program. They're all based on Rhino anyway, uh, the, the Matrix and the Rhino Gold. So we don't have any of those tools on, in Rhino Basics, so we're going to make it a size 6. And it's 1645.45 millimeter diameter. All right. So let's go into our Rhino. Open that up. Rhino 5 I'll be using. Rhino 5. Here we are. If you don't have any, uh, like I say, a, a jewelry uh, software, you can download uh, stones from 3dlapidary.com, and you can grab stones that you can use uh, for your modeling. What I have here is a 10 millimeter cushion cut, 10 by 10, and it's about six and a half deep. That's going to be our center stone. And let's get started. Once again, let's make our circle finger size. And it was 16.45. What I like to do when I draw a circle a lot of times, I like to find out where the starting end point is. Sometimes you need to know on a curve. Go up to here. Sometimes you need to know on a curve where these points are at if you're having a problem modeling. Now this tool is a start, mark, end. So as you can see, it put a point. That's the starting point of our circle. I want to rotate that and copy. No, I want to rotate it up to the top. There it is right there. That's a circle has been rotated. So, just so you know, there it is. Okay. Now, if we want to define our thicknesses of our shank here, I have my quad on. The bottom I want at 1.35 millimeter. And on the sides, I want to 2.25 millimeter. I could have mirrored that curve, but it's just fine to do it this way. Let me uh, do something here. I want to lock these uh, these curves for right now. There. Now, in the top viewport, let's start working on our stone, the outline of our stone. That's our curve for our stone. Let's get a uh, start here. What we want to do is we want to offset this curve. We could offset it uh, 0.75. We can do it that way. The thing about this is this is fine for a certain ring, but on this ring, we're going to be not using a arc and we're going to have a line instead right there on the ring you'll see so if I eliminate that ring and when we do our sweep and everything it'll be too close to the edge of the stone uh, so I don't want that what I'm saying what I'm going to do I'm gonna just use this arc for something to go by and I want it up I'm going to put my snap on and I'll take it right uh, there Take it right to there and turn my snap off and 
the good to the other side. That's what we need. That's the arc. So let's get rid of this other stuff here. No, I'm gonna cut that. Let's move this arc. And let's draw a line. And uh, have your uh, ortho on with your and on. That line right there. Now let's grab all these lines for right now in the stone. And let's take it up to about half a millimeter. So if you want to know half a millimeter, you can draw a line straight up. And there's a half a millimeter. We'll take, I want to look at what take here. Okay, we'll take all these lines. Should we grab them all? Turn the ortho on. And we'll take it up. It doesn't have to be perfect, but we want don't want it any lower than the five. And if you don't have a, if you have a problem seeing where it is, there's your, your spot. So we'll keep it down close so we don't get too high on the uh, cut that. We don't need that. So I got that lined up there. Let me look at this thing here for a minute. Okay. Let's take, uh, I want to take these lines right here. I'm going to take them all. And I want to move them up above the stone. Leave the ortho line. This is going to height. We want it above the stone so that way the stone setter has material to work with. You can take it off. For a customer's uh, for a rendition, no, I wouldn't have it this high. But we're not doing that for right now. All right. Let's continue with the shank here. Let's unlock those. Take my arc right here. Got my end snap on. And there is our outline for the shank. We're going to go over here, and we're going to open that up, extend curve smooth. We'll grab our curve, and I'll come uh, in a perspective view, so you can see this. Turn off your snap and let the... We want to grab on the middle of that top curve there, you can see, and we're going to do the same thing here. I want to grab the middle of that top curve there, and then we have that. I want to check my line. I want to turn on the points once. I want to turn on these points. I want to see what we've got there. Now, I can tell you right now, we don't have enough points to edit this thing smoothly. We want a few more points. So let's rebuild that. And we'll rebuild the curve. So right here it shows that we have nine points and two point and it's a degree, degree two curve. I'm going to change it to 16 and five for this particular one. And now we have that rebuilt. And just to show you, we have more control points to work with. I'm going to use those next. I'm going to do a one rail sweep get our basic shape here started now. We'll grab our one rail. We'll grab that top curve there and that one there. And we'll sweep it. We'll say OK. Now let's grab these uh, points here. I'll lock this. So we're not grabbing that. Let's grab just these two points. No, we didn't catch it. Oh, we got it. Now yeah, we got those two points. So we we'll grab all three. Let's scale them in just a little bit. No, let's just grab these two. Sorry. Let's scale it in. You can do what you want to do, okay? Scale it in. Oh, okay. 
carry a pot like that. And I think what I forgot to do here, let me turn these points off a second. Let me undo that a minute. I forgot to turn the history on. We put our history on before we do our sweep. And we'll grab that. That way we can alter this thing. You'll see. Okay. Now we're going to turn our points on. Let's see what happens if we got it. Just time. All right. Now we grab those curves. We're going to grab those three. Let me lock that once again. Let's grab these three. No, we we'll just grab those. Yeah, we'll grab those three. See what happens. We'll scale it 1D. Now, we don't want to bring it in too much at the top. Okay, we grab those two points at the top there. Let's scale it just let's check it one more time. Bring it in just a little bit see in perspective how it changed. Let me grab uh, I'll grab just these two. Let's repeat our scale. A little bit more. There we kind of tweaked it a little bit. Now let's go in here and uh, cap the top or finish off the top of the surface here. We'll make a surface and anytime you're picking a curve or a surface edge, pick the surface edge when you have a choice. Stick it to the surface edge. And we can let's see which curve we can get there. That one. Alright, we have a surface. Now let's join those. And it destroyed our history. We're okay, we're not going to use it anymore. And then let's cap it. And let's check it. See if it's solid. No naked edges. So right now, that's good to grow, good to go, and that's what we have right now. Now let's get the uh, shape of the, the ring here a little bit more now in the right viewport. We're going to go in, we're going to uh, taper it. And I have my grid snap on and my ortho on. And we're going to, from the top, there. Now up here are some controls. Rigid, flat, infinite. So when you're doing this once, you can play with it. Watch your model. If something happened, uh, undo it and click something else. But for right now, we're going to go flat, yes. And we're going to make it about 6 millimeters at the bottom. And about 3 on each side. It is. And we got that. And that's our shape so far of our ring. Now we'll do one more thing. Let's take our finger size hole and let's extrude it both sides. And let's make a Boolean difference. And there's our what we have so far. nice and clean. So we'll leave it at that for right now. That's the outline of our, our model. And we'll get ready for part two. Take a break and watch part two.